I am here in northern Illinois on a family vacation. Uh, drove out from Colorado 15 hours and uh, now I find myself in this beautiful lush forest in this amazing river valley. Uh, the water's clear. Supposedly there's smallmouths in here and uh, I have actually never fly fished for smallmouth bass before so I'm very excited right now. Um, it's a beautiful morning and I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get out there and uh, see what I can come up with. So hopefully we can catch some fish and uh, have a great day out here. All right guys, so starting pretty much right at the first hole. Um, got a little bit of smoother kind of slacker water. Seems to get a little bit deeper out here and we've got some structure that smallmouth might be uh, held up against. So I've got a Clouser minnow on, just a very lightly weighted streamer, single fly on my Tenkara rod. I'm gonna kinda make some casts and just work my way out and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Came right off the rock. <laughs> Tiny guy. <laughs> yes. There he is. Look at that little dude. I, f I love smallmouth. So spunky. Awesome. Thanks, bud. Have a great day. <laughs> Very cool. I'm trying lots of different presentations, uh, stripping them back upstream, kind of just letting it stall in the current. I'm trying to uh, basically dead drift it, almost as if I was nymphing. Um, I've tried stripping it back up very quickly. Um, my goal right now is really to try to figure out some sort of pattern if I can. All right, we're really getting up near the uh, real rapid section here. Maybe that's the key. Maybe that's what we need. Ooh, just saw a tiny one come up for it. Oop, there's another one. Ah, come on. Bite it, bite it. <laughs> just the third one just came by. All small but uh, they're definitely chasing it. Maybe I need a smaller fly. Ooh, there's a nice one. <laughs> Nicer at least. Hopefully I can keep this guy on. They are so powerful for their size. Such cool fish. One of my favorites. They've always been one of my favorites. Trying to keep tension on them. As usual, I'm using uh, barbless hooks. I've got a pretty long line here. There we go. Woohoo! Awesome. Sweet little fish. Definitely a bit chunkier than the last one. So they're pretty much like sitting, there's like a rock shelf kind of along there and a nice, nice linear cliffy looking spot. Um, I think they're all kind of posted up under there. I mean, there's got to be more in here. It's got to be. 
Oh, hoo -hoo. another one came after it there. Oh, aha, there was one. Woohoo! Oh my. Oh, you are a creek chub. Oh, there he goes. Ah, cool. I don't hate on creek chubs. Well, this is awesome. I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty steady action all day. I sure hope so. All right, so I actually throw on a um, very small CDC collared uh, pink bead little streamer, kind of a little jig streamer. Let's see if they're interested. It's a little smaller than the Clouser minnow that I had on previously, which I think might be a good thing. It's only a matter of time. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, feisty, feisty little guys. Ooh. Oh yeah. There we go. Another nice little guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'd love to find some bigger ones, although I'm not gonna be uh, that guy that only cares about big fish. It's a cool little spot here with a fallen tree. I'm just gonna kinda prospect around some of these fallen branches. See if anyone wants to play. Ooh. I think that was a fish. There we go. This is a nicer one. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Relatively speaking, that is. <laughs> cool, cool. Yep, that's a nice little guy. He definitely fought hard. Awesome. I really can't say enough how much I love smallmouth. Just, they're just perfect. I don't know if I'd give up trout fishing to have places like this, but you know, I honestly, I might. <laughs> Looks nice and deep up here. I think we might catch another one. There we go. This is it. This is it. It's gonna happen. It happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a feisty one. He is a feisty one. <laughs> I was just drifting it down. I gave it a little pop, pause, fly. I feel like flies are so effective for these guys. I mean, it's like a, it's like a jerk bait, but with more finesse. I'm gonna put this guy in the net. He's not huge by any means, but hey, why not? Chubby little guy. Look at those eyes. That's incredible. 
gosh. <laughs> hmm. What a day. What a day. Amazing. All right. I'll get this guy back in the water. back in there. I think there's going to be some more in this hole. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I knew there had to be one in that slack water. There's another decent one. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh, this is just so much fun. Woo! He's strong. Oh my. This is probably going to be the nicest one of the day so far. God, I love smallmouth. That was the king of the pool, I bet. Chilling under that tree. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. Wow. This is a good fight on the Tenkara rod. This is a nice fish. This is a very nice fish. All right, come on, buddy. Spunky. Oh, missed him, missed him. My line's a bit long here. There we go. Heck yeah. All right guys, there he is. Awesome fish. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome. That's so cool. I just cast it like right into that completely slack water and I saw him just smash it. Set the hook and luckily I was able to pull him immediately out through that small uh, channel there between these two logs. Uh, he definitely could have could have won that battle if he had chosen a different path, I'd say. So feel lucky to have gotten that one. By far the biggest smallmouth so far. I mean, he was a good, uh, I don't know, 12, 13 inches or so. Definitely a fatty though. And uh, he fought really hard. Felt amazing on the 10 car rod. Uh, very cool, very, very cool. Let's see if we can find uh, another fish in here. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I've got some sort of big fish on here. I don't know. I, he was hanging near the bottom. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't think this is a smallmouth. Oh, man, my adrenaline is rushing right now. This is going to be very hard to tire this fish out. I really want him to stay away from these logs. I mean, shoot, I don't know, it could be a smallmouth. Whew. <laughs> uh, oh boy, I'm a mess. 
<laughs> I'm a mess. It could be a nice smallmouth. Subtle hit. If it is a smallmouth, I mean, I was just drifting right along the bottom there. Whew. Oh man, that feels amazing. Yes, it is. It's a really nice smallmouth. Wow. I thought I had a red horse or a carp or something. He just was just glued to the bottom. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. I barely even saw the indicator doing anything. Set the hook and there he was. Oh man, this is not over yet. Wow. <laughs> After catching all those dinks earlier, I am, uh, needless to say, I'm pretty surprised at the last two fish. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Wow. Fantastic. Hooking into a big smallmouth in this tiny creek. <laughs> Woo. Amazing, amazing. This feels like nothing else on this 10 car rod. I'm, I'm telling you guys. Even if I had hooked into this with a, you know, a Western five weight, I mean, my adrenaline is pumping right now. I know this is gonna sound ridiculous later, but I don't care. That's, that's how I feel. This is amazing. All right, let's see if we can get this big boy in here. God, what a, <laughs> that is a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh man. Wow. Whew. Yeah, that's a, that's a proper bass right there. That is a proper bass. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. That's cool. That's gotta be a, I don't know, 15, 15, 16 inch smallie out of this tiny creek. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm shaking. What a fish. <laughs> awesome. Hey, this one's beautiful too. Nice pattern. Look at that guy. Woo. Big boy. Awesome. Gonna get him back in the water. My day is made. My day is 100% made. What a cool spot. This is amazing. All on this small, little micro jigged streamer, dead drifted. Just, just, I don't know, it feels cool to catch smallmouth on this like dead drifted fly fishing type technique um, instead of popping along jigs or, you know, whatever else. Definitely cool. Well, this is quite a spot here. Jeez. Looks very, very deep right off the bank. Uh, we've got some big cliffs, limestone cliffs. Really pretty. I wonder, wonder who's lurking in here. That was a nice, nice size smallmouth right there. I think I might have spooked him. I was up pretty close before I realized. There's another. Oh, and he ate it. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, what a day. Nice fish. Oh man, he is feisty. That was cool, I watched the eat. I basically set it down right on the ground and I, uh, I couldn't see him too, too well, but I saw the flash of white from his mouth open, set the hook, and there he was. Gosh, this place is just, it's amazing. Good fighter, nice fish. <laughs> Woo. I don't know if that was the same one. I, I thought I had spooked him, but um, that, that very well could be the fish that I saw. Caught some decent sized smallmouth today. I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought, uh, I mean, <laughs> when I was getting into those uh, real, real dinky dinks this morning, I thought there was no hope for getting some big ones, but here we are. Great fish. Come here. Awesome. Whoa, oh my goodness, big fish. Ah, wow, oh wow, is that a, is that a rainbow? Oh, oh my God. I, I. Oh, all right. It's a nice fish, whatever it is. What are you? Come on, come on, come on. The adrenaline's going again. God, oh my gosh. It's a big old rainbow. That is so weird. Look at that. Nice fish. What the heck? Wow. It's a big rainbow. <laughs> Very cool. What a great rainbow. That's a surprise. 
Cool, cool. Let me get this uh, gal back in the water. Oh, yes, a bigger one. I mean, not huge, but bigger, bigger than the, the four inchers I was catching. Buddy. Not a bad little dude. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Well, how about that? Kind of a random catch there. Uh, it's a sucker. I don't know exactly what species. I'm, I always kind of assume white sucker, but uh, being here in Illinois, I am not sure. So I'm gonna take that as my last fish of the day and uh, wrap things up here. He's a cool dude though. I actually uh, <laughs> really like catching suckers. So I'll get this guy back in and uh, wrap things up. Wow. Um, what a day of fishing this has been. This place surpassed all of my expectations. I did not expect it to be as absolutely beautiful as it is. I didn't expect to see the biodiversity. I mean, we got into smallmouth bass, uh, that random huge uh, rainbow trout, um, the sucker at the end. And not only was there such a wide range of species to catch, but a lot of them too. I mean, I caught probably a dozen uh, smaller smallmouth, if not more. Um, missed probably two or three times as many uh, strikes from all the little guys just darting out and trying to grab at my fly. 
and uh, did actually end up catching a few really nice smallmouth as well. Um, that one that came out from under the tree, uh, that definitely took the cake. I did not expect to catch a smallmouth that big in here. Um, overall, this was just such an enjoyable day of fishing. I will always remember this place and uh, I need to come back here as soon as I possibly can. Um, absolutely <laughs> one of the best days fishing I've ever had. Um, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching to the end and I'll catch you next time.